In our last vlog, we mentioned that we bought a house. The house is located in Hamilton, which is about a 50 minute drive from Toronto, or if there's traffic, it's about 25 hours. And in Hamilton, there's a local filmmaker by the name of Christoph. He has a YouTube channel called Maybe Someday. And he recently just put out a video. He's been trying to find the perfect space for his new studio. So after bouncing between different studios over the years, he finally settled on this one giant building and he has some really ambitious plans. So we're gonna go check it out, meet him today, and and uh, we'll show you guys what it's all about. Still super pregnant, she's doing three days. Secretly, I like that I'm constantly out of breath because it makes Will feel bad and then he holds the camera and everything, which <laughs> I, I don't really feel like doing. Uh, but yeah, if you hear someone constantly like panting in the background, it's me. Just ignore it. Thank God Will's holding the camera because <laughs> I'd pass out. Well, okay. Let's go. This place is literally three minutes from our house. Great. <laughs> I was gonna film B-roll, but we're already here. I'm Christoph, and welcome to the Evil Empire. open and as is, so production will take it as is while we focus on this side of things and figure out how things are going with this space. But we can gauge the community and be like, you know, do we need more co-working or do we need more offices or do we need another studio? And do it based on the actual needs rather than just like what we assume. When I started, I'd go to coffee shops yeah, with too. a camera. I would be like, maybe I'll meet someone who yeah. I can collaborate with or do filmmaking stuff with or learn from. And I never met anyone. Uh, <laughs> Tron is that here in Toronto? In Toronto. In Toronto, I had the same experience as yeah. you, but then when I came here, it was like literally within like a week. I met so many people here. Well, that's what's so freaking cool about your coffee shop thing. <laughs> yeah. Like to me, for people who want to connect with mm -hmm. people who've been other doing this creators. forever, other yeah. creators, they can sit in the coffee shop and like ask like, oh, what lens is that? What do you do? Yeah, and just spark up a conversation. Yeah, because it's all it other creative people. Just and I do remember when Casey like launched 368. That's why I, did, I thought it. It was funny, it was the address of this place is 366. <laughs> so I was like joking with Jesse that we should just call this 366 and like that's uh, it. That works. But, uh, that works. It's, like, you, the evil empire. Yes. Which was, it started off as a joke, but I've had like one person have like a negative reaction to it. Everyone else is like, no, go with it. That's so awesome. These we aren't gonna touch or anything. We're just gonna like leave them as is. Because people will rent them, you know, in yeah, yeah. current state basically. Oh my god, the things you could shoot down here though. Oh yeah. So that basically just like goes down there and then it ends there, but then this goes on for like another 40 feet or something. Oh. Um, so yeah, you could shoot I mean like all kinds of stuff. I don't even know. So I had to come down here at like eight o'clock at night like all by myself and like I was like measuring <laughs> nope. the length of these tunnels and like the width and everything and I was just like with my flashlight and my phone and like my you know clipboard or whatever it wasn't fun yeah, I nobody attacked me no ghosts you know popped good? out of nowhere so okay. I think we're good I don't even want to like dig this up and find out what's uh <laughs> everywhere is creepy yeah. What 
a cool building that was. That place has so much potential. Super tall ceilings. There's like multiple different rooms. There's this crypt style the like, tunnel tunnel thing. I love like, that. Underground walkways that yeah. are that have no lighting, but you can obviously set up your own lighting. Even though right now it's a blank canvas, there's so much you could do with this space. It makes you go like holy shit. <laughs> I think it's um, 10,000 square feet. Oh my, so I, it's like, that means nothing to me. But okay, put it this way. <laughs> 10 times the size of our, our studio. I'm still so bad at math that like, many, I saw it in real life, so I know many, it's, many it's many ginormous bigger. and there's like, it's huge, but yeah, it's gonna be a really, really incredible space for film production companies as well as creators who just want somewhere to work and go and have a coffee and. Yeah, I think that's my favorite part about it. It's not just gonna be this, Hollywood high-end, you know, it has that Hollywood style on the side in his uh, soundstage area, but on the other side, there's gonna be this full-on creator communal area that where there's a bunch of desks set up, you can rent spaces there, and there's gonna be a shooting area for creators. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool place. I'll leave the link for Christoph's video in the description, so check that out. He goes into detail about the ideas he has for the space, and also subscribe to his channel because he makes some other really great filmmaking videos that you might uh, learn something or enjoy watching watching. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos from us in the future. We're losing light now, so we'll see you in another video. I never know if I should look at you when you talk or if I should look at the camera while you're talking. I get in my head about it and I'm like, stare one way or stare the other way. And then I'm like, <laughs> yeah, oh, too awkward. much eye contact with the camera. Too much. Yeah. Yeah.